G'day streamers, I got something special for you today. This is a cool little plugin for OBS called Spectralizer. So this represents the audio spectrum uh, in a visual form inside of OBS. So if you've got some music playing or, or whatever you're, you're uh, streaming audio wise, it will pick that up and give you a visual representation old school like. So take a look at this and uh, I'll show you how to get this going. It does take a little bit of getting around in the uh, Mac setup anyway. So ultimately what I do is I'll hit this page here uh, from the OBS forum. So we'll go over here, go to download. So we'll download directly from the site what we need. So you can check whether you're on Linux, Mac, Windows. In this case, we'll take the Mac version. Thank you very much. Easy, just like that. So this is where things get a little bit tricky. Uh, it's... Let me just say, there's a couple of things that have to go in place first. So in regards to the Mac installation, let's just open up Terminal, because uh, this is where it's done. And in Terminal, we'll type in sh and a space. And then we'll grab this file here, which is the one that we've just downloaded, uh, once you've unzipped it, and drag it straight on top of Terminal there. Okay. And then push the Go button. So because I've already done this myself, uh, what we need to, or what this will actually be doing is downloading some background information that this plugin actually needs to run. So in my case, it's already there and it's telling me that that's what it's done. So this might take a little bit of time for you and go through a few different screens. Uh, I haven't worked out how to take it off again to show you uh, it does it itself. So once we've got that, we then need to go to the uh, OBS. It tells you in that screen, if I just open another one there. So if I go to there, and then I go to library, application support, OBS, down there, studio, go to plugins. So it's tried to set it up, but it hasn't actually worked properly. So what we're going to do is go back to here and grab that plugin folder. Don't take the plugin folder itself, but just the contents of it, the, the bin folder and the data folder, and copy that straight over here to the spectralizer folder and let it go. Okay, so the background information has been set up with what this program actually needs, this little plugin, and from there we'll go into OBS and I'll show you where that's at. So you need to open OBS or not have it running while you're doing this. Uh, if you have, then it won't work and it won't show up. All right, so we'll move on to the next trick. All right, once you've got OBS opened up, what you need to do is inside your source list, you just need to click on that little plus button and there you should find it it should say audio visualizer so let's click that we'll call it audio visualizer no drama there open it up and let's make it full screen so that we can see what's going on so to edit the properties on this one all we need to do is just double click and what we want to do is make the uh, audio source what's it going to look for so in this case i want it to to affect everything that's coming into OBS. Uh, in this case, it's through my mic or my auxiliary input, which is every feed that I send audio. Otherwise, you could just set it up with one in particular, uh, one of the scenes that you've got. But in this case, I will use everything. So there you go. You can see it moving with my voice already. So what we can do is we can select the color. Let's have a amazing green, shall we? There you go. We change the color. Uh, there's filters in here, there's different things that you can play around with and what it will actually listen for. So there's a noise filter, it's a kind of a, th so it, it doesn't actually pick up everything that you want it to. You just, if there's a little bit of noise on your system, you can actually drop that uh, by just lowering that number there and whatnot. So there, I've also turned off, when I like it, I just turn off uh, the scaling. So it looks absolutely huge, doesn't it? So let's drop the scale size down. I don't want it to automatically scale depending on the volume coming in. I want it consistent all the time so that it's only giving this much or this much of the whole screen. All right, so there we go. You can also play with the gravity, so how quickly it bounces around, which is kind of probably a little bit off-putting for, for most. So something that's kind of like that seems all right to me. And the fall off, how quickly it drops away again. Yeah. So you can play around with that wherever you like it as well. In stereo mode, it will double this. 
So it goes both ways. So if you want to look like kit from the 80s, you might want to change it red in that particular case. Hey, well, why not? Let's do that. And you can uh, look like kit from the 80s. Well, he was red, wasn't he? Something like that. So there you go. You can have a little muck around with those colors and where it sits for you. Uh, you can obviously change the, the pixel space, how that looks, uh, and also the detail. And it's really up to you how and where you place this on your uh, on your on your screen. But let me just play a bit of music for you, and uh, we'll see what happens when we do that with music. So there you go, you can see how that's going to enhance your broadcast and something that's pretty easy. Uh, and if you're doing this install, just uh, make sure that you follow basically what I've done and you may have to find there's a little bit of mucking around uh, just to get there, just a little bit of experimentation. But that's how I got it to work, so hopefully it helps you if you're on the Mac system as well. All right, cheers, we'll catch you on another video soon, but that is the Spectralizer for OBS. What a cool little plug-in that is.